What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Eternals Classified and I'm bringing you a search and destroy match on cargo. This is Daniel Stunna and Julio playing some league play um, and they ended up catching up with it. They played a team that they scrimmed and they got beat by a team, but then they ended up catching them again on league play. Just on some random chance. As you see, here's Daniel Stunna with his diamond MSMC and his eternal uh, uh, emblem there. Picking up the bomb, going to be headed for bomb A it looks like. Um, but this opposite team has, um, Farico Looney, and, uh, it, it isn't a fake account. Um, Farico Looney was on the roster for the, uh, for an older Farico team. Now, he's not a current member, obviously, he's not, you know, on their roster right now, but, um, and there's Julio getting taken out, and these are just the other two members, that's MLG Kitty, um, but, uh, He's a former member of Farico. Now, the um, one of the members of this opposite team, Confusion, uh, actually gets really, really, really upset in this match. So you'll see why um, you'll see why he's significant here in a little bit. I'll be sure to uh, to really um, I'll, I'll be sure to point out what happens. <coughs> As you see, here's MLG Kitty coming around. Taking, getting, or sorry, getting taken out. Um, so they go down early, uh, zero one. So I see there's confusion, Farika Looney, and a uh, Ant Man, and then more to go or whatever on there. Um, we'll be hopping on with Julia here with his uh, MS or his M8 with the. Uh, I love that camo. I think that's probably one of the coolest camos next to Carbon um, and Gold, obviously. And like the diamond and stuff, but I think all the camels that you earn through special stuff, I think that's one of the coolest ones. But Julio just kind of, you know, rummaging around. Still four alive on both sides. Now things kind of, in mean, a search and destroy, things are a little bit slower than usual, so I apologize if, you know, I don't tend to have things to say. Um, it is now a 2v3 scenario. Um... The Eternal team, we'll call them just the Eternal team, because, you know, it's that's just how it is. Um, they are down one player um, on this 2-3 scenario. The bomb has been planted on A. Daniel coming around, get his taken out, while uh, the other player is also getting taken out as well. So they go down 0-2. So going down two games early, and... Uh, that's not usually the greatest thing, you know, it's really a morale downer. But um, one thing I do know about Daniel is he's always there to be like, you know what? I'm we're gonna we're gonna stick this out. And Daniel switching to an M8. Very um, very interesting choice. Uh, we'll see if it pays off for him. I haven't seen this gameplay whatsoever. Um, Daniel sent it to me and right away I tried to get this uh, this commentary out or this commentary um, recorded. So Daniel switching to an M8. And uh, running around the side here, seeing if he can get a little peek. Julio coming up also gets, gets the, uh, the take out there. It is now 3-2 to two in favor of Eternal of the Team Eternal group. So all they need to do is take out a couple more people, and they got that. Julio gets Farico Looney. And Daniel going for the bomb plant at A to bait this next guy out. Now Daniel going to be coming over to the side, going to do a uh, little bit of holding out as much as possible. They also have that third member just as some added security for that bomb site where he can get, take, or he can get that. Um, Daniel, yes, Daniel did get taken out by um, Eye Confusion. Uh, so it's down to a 2-1 to one scenario with MLG Kitty and uh, Julio still there. MLG Kitty taking out Confusion. And that it will make it one to two. <clears throat> so Eternal doing a fantastic job. I'm liking this view, Daniel, very much. Now, uh, just to let you know, I do love this view of with the with the players on the side and stuff like that. It's very very good. I, I like that a lot. Just as a side note. Um, but here we go, round four now, because um, it's one to two. Daniel running around doing the whole knife trick. I don't know if you ever watched Sharp's videos, but he does show. And picking up the nade kill, the random nade. Julio throwing that, getting the pickup. Awesome job. 
Um, but anyways, going back to what I was saying, if you've ever watched uh, Sharp's videos, he does show you a little trick with the knife and running and stuff like that. That's something that a lot of competitive players do know about already, but if you don't already know, you can move faster um, and run longer with your sprint duration. If you um, have no secondary with your knife, take that up before you start running, you can run a longer distance. Um, than if you would with just a normal pistol or anything like that. But here's Daniel kind of creeping around the sides here. Doing what he can to get the, uh, to get this last kill. Two to one in favor of turn. He sees him, he sees him, and he gets him. So all they have to do now is defuse the bomb, and, uh, that's all she wrote. Um, looks like they didn't end up getting a little takeout there. I don't know what happened with the other guy, but, um... Daniel makes it 2-2 two to two with that defuse. Um, the two Eternal play members are on top of the board. So, that is uh, really, really, I'm liking that a lot. Uh, Farika, Looney, and Confusion still down there. They're, I mean, they're, they're holding out. They're down two matches in a row, so that's got to be a huge morale kick in the balls. Um, so, as you can see, the entire team will be picking up the bomb. Will they be splitting up? Yes, they will. That's an all four player split up going in different areas, which is interesting. Um, the bomb carrier are going to be kind of sticking around the back. Julio going to be uh, coming around the side just to see what he can do. Daniel looking at some, or for some cutoffs rather. Uh, just looking at some of the upper areas because this match is very, very heavy. And um, I believe is that that's Confusion who leaves. Confusion rage quits out of this match because he gets killed yet again. That is just the quality of players that you want to see when you're playing League Play. They get so pissed off that they just leave. So congratulations, Confusion. You're a fucking retard. I hope you watch this video, and I hope you just sulk in the in the absolute pain that you feel about absolutely getting raped and murdered and going down 3-2 that you didn't even get to witness that. That is Julio getting the final kill in that round. So it is now a 4-3 uh, four players to three players, and uh, we still got a few more rounds left because in uh, league play, this plays till six. So, uh, you know, confusion. At a boy, you're fucking your team over, bro. I really hope that team drops his ass uh, because he rage quit. Because I wouldn't have anything to do with that whatsoever. Um, it's already a three to two scenario. I want you kitty getting taken out and Ant-Man from the other team getting taken out as well. So three to two, the Eternal team has the advantage. Uh, they're, all they have to do now is, I believe on the defense, I wasn't really paying attention, but uh, all they have to do now is defend and keep them from, uh, keep them from getting uh, or killing them. And uh, there it is, it's a three to one scenario now. And Daniel gonna be picking up that final kill, four to two with the round win. There's two more rounds left potentially if Eternal can hold this off. God, I still can't get over the fact that the guy actually rage quit. That is absolutely pathetic. I mean, there are times where I get mad and I get, you know, frustrated about, you know, get, getting beat and stuff like that or, you know, uh, getting taken out. But never in my entire league play career have I rage quit because I was getting killed because I lost. Now, apparently, Confusion was talking a lot of shit before this match. Um, and, uh... And Daniel, um, Daniel didn't say anything. He was kind of keeping quiet. He was just saying the guy was really talking trash after that last scrim. And, uh, and I think that's what really got to him. I think, you know, he was just, he figured out that, you know, the, the group is good. I mean, you get these couple players here that are absolutely fantastic at what they're doing. And, um, so now it's a 1v1 scenario. It is MLG Kitty versus whatever guy is left alive there. But, uh... I, I, oh, confusion, confusion, confusion. The guy coming up behind MLG Kitty, he's not really paying attention to what's going on. Uh, all he needs to do is turn around. There's a guy right behind him. Obviously, he doesn't know that, but we do. Um, sneaking around. Is he going to get killed before the bomb is planted? Mm, no, he isn't, but he gets taken right after. So, I guess that's a trade-off. You get the bomb po plant points, but then... Uh, I think I guess the bomb defuse points. And he gets a clutch trophy as well, so that's um, a little extra round. XP to them. Now they're up 4-3 with, again, potentially two more rounds left, depending on if they can hold off these last two. 
to make it 6-3. Farika Looney works on the team there. That's interesting to see. A former professional just not doing so hot this game you know let's but i guess that's the way call of duty goes it's 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 it's, it's always something you know you have your good days and you have your bad days so potentially you're on a bad day but daniel picking up the first kill right away fantastic job just doing what he can and doing what he does so well um i really enjoy watching him play a search and destroy games he does an absolutely fantastic job it's still four to two no one else has gotten taken out uh, Julio just checking things out, sees a guy up there, gets hit, going to be running back and doing, um, you know, just doing a little evaluation. He knows where the guy's at. The guy will probably end up moving anyways. But Daniel is right there to pick up the kill with the elimination. That is 2-0 for this round for Daniel. Fariko sees it. His teammate got taken out there. Is now 2v1. Julio running around just to kind of do a check, seeing where this guy is. And uh, I believe it's Daniel that's still left. I'm not 100% sure though, because I haven't been able to see um, what the other game would take is. But as you can see, they're on the other side of the map. So, Julio going to be running around, seeing what he can do. There he goes, he sees him. And they eliminate the opposite team. Now it's 5-3 to three with one round left. Uh, I'm going to spoil it. We do end up winning. Um, but, um, so, uh, with this time that I have left, you can enjoy this last round. i just like to say thank you for supporting Team Eternal and what I do and what we do. And, uh, hopefully we can get more and more content out for you guys that you really enjoy. I'm going to be getting a better program than what I have now. I upgraded it a little bit. I've gone through a couple different channels for this video, so let me know what you think about the quality and stuff like that. Um, but I will be getting a different program, hopefully a better program. And, uh, yeah, so... Um, and like I was saying, just a quick little plug, I'm personally looking for some GFX people. I know, um, I know Daniel, you know, it's kind of on the, uh, on the, you know, iffy, iffy, if he wants to get someone or not, but I'm really looking for somebody, so if you're interested, please contact me for a little bit of personal stuff. That's really all I have left to say. This has been Eternals Classified. I will catch you all later. Peace out.